Hi everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up for this lovely day, lovely and wild day, Friday, February 16th, 2018. Well, with regard to the wild swings that we saw today, I know that you are not surprised because I told you we were going to likely see this today because of op options expiration, so we had a market that was all over the place. We also had a market that was all over the place because of political issues which will not affect the market in the longer run. So for those of you that are hoping it, that that will happen, well, you are going to be uh, unhappy because it's not gonna, nothing affects this market. It's Teflon and uh, that's just the way it's going to be moving forward here. So let's just go over this real quick. Stocks finished down triple digits. The Dow Jones Industrial Average hit a high uh, of about 230 at one point, then went negative, then went up, then went negative, then went up. This is how we ended the day. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average up fractionally, S&P up fractionally, NASDAQ down. But did you see, did you see the action in the bond market today? I mean, it was literally off the charts and I mean that. I hope sincerely that you're watching this video on my website, traderschoice.net, because if you are, just glance down to the right just a little bit and have a look at that bond market chart. Your eyeballs will explode. It's it's the truth. If you're not watching my videos on my website, um, please watch them there. If you get a notification from YouTube, that means it's on my website, um, and you can follow along with these charts as well, but really, if you're not watching this on my website just go over there there's a link in the description of this video and have a look at that bond market chart it, it's frankly I I popping or I exploding it's true but what did that do this uh, is normalizing the bond market here which is stock market positive that's what I want to talk about here stock market positive we have a dollar okay got a little bit of a bump here doesn't mean a darn thing to me the dollar uh, I think hit a two-year low this week. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, the other thing here that I want you to pay attention to, and I've spoken about this before, just Google Fear and Greed Index. When you see the Fear and Greed Index, you will see we are, we are still deep into the fear category. What that tells me and should tell you uh, is that this is a time to be buying stocks time to be adding to positions. Now let's cover that real quick. Right here, you all know I've been in this for the past couple of weeks. It's a fabulously phenomenal trade. I closed half of this trade yesterday. I closed a little bit more of that position today. I still have a small position in this and we'll see how that plays out next week. No matter what happens, even if the market tanks, uh, on Tuesday, because that, that's the next time trading begins, I don't care. I already locked in a nice profit and I'm a happy guy. And, and so are you if you got in on this, and I promise you, we're going to keep this going, all of us. Okay, so um, next week here, let's talk about what's going to happen next week. This week, you got to give credit where credit is due. I nailed this to the wall. On last Friday, I said how this week would play out. We all profited from that. Congratulations. This next week has the potential here to be another good week. Again, why? For all the things that I just outlined for you. So unless something comes out of left field, we get bonds selling off in another big way, some geopolitical event decides to get in the way of this market, you can expect stocks to rise. But we'll see how this plays out again. We always have to be ready for something to come at us. For example, the last sell-off in the bond market, which rocked the stock market. Barring that, and keeping your eye on cryptocurrencies. People use this as a leading indicator. If you see cash going into cryptos, this is an indicator to me, and I've written about this, I've talked about this before anybody else. That's the truth, too. Um, this is a measure of risk in the market. So if you see cash going in there, let's say over the weekend or on, on Monday, 
you can expect that stocks will do well Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. We're going to see how that plays out. Now, let me say something else, how we're going to rip the face off of this. If this position here continues to gain, I will buy back in. I will buy back in. Again, I still have a small position in here. Um, and we're going to see how that moves uh, n next week. If it sells off, eh, whatever, I'm happy. If it does not, I will post this, what I do in real time on my social networks. I see a lot of people posting comments on, on YouTube and everywhere. Well, where are Greg's stock picks? My stock picks are here, and I, I post them in real time. What could be better than that? There's what I'm talking about. You got it? So pay a little bit of attention and do what I'm doing if you want to and you should be successful here because that's what I want to happen it is my goal for us to be successful period with that said today is Friday I have a three-day weekend no trading markets closed on Monday I'm happy I don't I don't care I'm gonna just disregard anything over the weekend I really am I am NOT going to be back here Again, unless something so monumental happens that I just have to talk about it. So, this is my hope for the weekend. Love each other. Care about each other. Be charitable. You know that. All right, with that said, I will see all of you when we reconvene right back here Tuesday morning. And right back here is on my website, traderschoice.net, where you can look at everything, and there's lots of free stuff there for you. Take advantage of that. Um, that's it. I will see you Tuesday.